What's up, y'all? We about to get right on into this part three. Part three of this this bull jive. It's crazy as hell. Shout out the Wings Team V4, like always. Yeah, all of us incest down here. Incest and NASCAR. Ask me how much I like NASCAR. <clears throat> I want to know how much you like incest, actually. <laughs> Wow. Oh, uh, you never uh, seen my family. I, I, no. Because I'm not a bad person. You can't find a person in real life to say I'm a bad person. Can't do it. Oh, really? He's not my neighbor, dude. He doesn't live anywhere near me. Ooh. It's like, you guys are acting like I've, I've, I've hung out with this guy for 30 fucking years. I can honestly tell you, I've, I've probably met him less than 15 times. But the thing is, dude, one, he said y'all worked together for like a year, right? And in a year, you could know somebody really well. You know, I worked with a dude that just was there for a year, me and him. We knew a lot about each other. We talked a lot, you know. When you work with somebody, if it, just for a year, you can find out a lot about a person. Also, he didn't really say that y'all hung out, but he said he got a lot of information from his mom, who was good friends with your mom. I think that's what he said. You know what I mean? So you got to address that. In my life, luck will intercept any distress call. Flash forward. I'm working at Domino's Pizza. He needs a job. I give him a job. I worked with him for about a year or so. Exactly. For a year. My lieutenant and I will scout ahead. All the shit he said Join us when you're ready. was 100% a lie. There was not one ounce of truth in anything he said. He said y'all worked at Domino's. Ooh. But what we published, what we That's published was out of Wait, what we published, was it out of context? No. It was what I said. Aaron, Go you're in your You saw on the stream, he got on there and he refuted everything I had to say. I mean, of course he's going to refute it. He refutes everything people throw at him. Just that's why I said you got to talk to the shit. It because it was, I, I was trying to cover my fucking ass. I'm not going to pull up on anybody that you guys say has a fucking criminal case against me. That's not wise. Bro. Oh my god. Oh 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 wow. wow. There it is. There it is. There it is. You are oh my You're terrified. You, you're lawyer you better bro. player up, Black buddy. Black You realize this is slander. At this point, I'm probably going to be pressing charges against him. I'm not surprised. Uh, I guess Darren, the guy who was over here yesterday. I have no case. No, I have a plenty case. Oh, I, he has a plenty case. Y'all didn't hear that. He has a plenty case. <laughs> I have a plenty case. It's a plenty case. <clears throat> What's the ace? What's the ace? And I'm going to and I'm going to advise Taylor to press full charges on it. Here's the ace. Get to the text messages here. So, it seems Mr. Aaron wanted to text my sister while she was underage. Oof. This was in 2011. My sister's currently 23. You do the math. Well, here's the thing, Mr. Jordy Jordan. That doesn't disprove anything that he's really said. You know, that's just, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. You both are still wrong. That just means y'all both piece of garbage, you know? We're going, to, we're going to go to the local police department with it. I've already sent it to the FBI. It's already been sent. You can just send stuff to the FBI. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. Get the FBI on the phone. It don't work like that. But <laughs> I kind of sound like, hey, kind of reminds me of, hey, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. 
Put the FBI on the phone, please. Yes. <laughs> but the FBI only does federal crimes. This would be this would be civil. Come on, man, FBI. I mean, if he wants to lie about me, I'll throw some truth about him. But I just learned about this. How you gonna throw some truth about him? You don't know him, he said. I'm gonna yes, stop pausing. Right. Yeah, how he wanted to get the uh, the trailer from from Sabrina and said that it was messed up because she wouldn't just give him the trailer and there was all this this big commotion. His mom his mom is the only owner on that on that trailer. Yeah. Uh, in my understanding of the situation. Yeah. I know that his grandmother doted on him all the time. He couldn't do anything. Wow. Did your mom uh attend the funeral, if you don't mind me asking? She did. She did. So your yeah, mom attended the funeral. Well, no, not it. the funeral, the visiting. The visiting, the visitation is what she, she went to because she had to work. And I Jordan didn't go because there? I didn't know he wasn't there. I know that for a fact. Yeah, it seems like it. Right, yeah, if you snitch, then that means someone's telling the truth. You know more Doctor. than what's going on, all right? You, you definitely know so more. adamant and so articulate in giving us information. And then only when it got released and it got the backlash that it did, saying it's a lie. You can't do that. You can't. You got to stick to your word or this shit's going to happen, what's going on right now. He starts graduate. He starts graduating. He stops doing the pain pills and he starts doing the heroin. Mm -hmm. That's a common well, progression. That's a common progression. And he started out with these things called slits. They're like they're like little envelopes that come with white powder and you sniff them, and that eventually turns into the liquid heroin, which is like black and it comes in like vials. Well, when he couldn't get the heroin, he subsidized it with crack. Well, he got caught about two months ago, two, maybe three months ago, with all three substances in his truck, crack, heroin, and pain pills in a, in a bottle that isn't his. Damn. So now he's facing a felony charge of trafficking. Um, if you can, you can let me know if this is too personal for you to discuss, but we know that Kenny does have a, a history of drug abuse, you know, and I don't want to get personal with you to know if you ever, you know, used it, but I... Was it ever used in front of Jordy in which he seemed interested or, you know, asked about it or anything like that? Or do you even know anything about that? I know that whenever we were teenagers, we smoked pot together. You and Jordy. No, but anything, anything with crystal meth? I never did any type of hard drugs in my life. Um, besides, I did some cocaine when I was younger, but that was when I was off. I'm, I'm only asking because... Uh, he he talks down about Kenny a lot, you know. Even though Kenny's, you know, successful, you know, has a family now, has a real job. Uh, yeah. He he really does hammer down on the fact that Kenny fucked up his life and got hooked on crystal meth. And you know, since you said you were friends, I was just wondering if you ever saw that and ever seen well, maybe Jordy be interested in it, you know, interested in pot I'll, or anything like that. I'll say this: he might not. From what I understand, Jordy doesn't do any type of drugs at all. From the times that we experimented with, with marijuana back in the day, that's the only times I can ever recall him doing any type of drug. So you and Jordy did do math. I mean, sorry. You do <laughs> that's a hell of a slip up. Yeah, I did do meth. <laughs> Weed, yeah. Marijuana. Yeah, marijuana um, yeah. And it was it was like two or three times, and me, him, and Kenneth did it. And you know, it was like kid shit, like still still some fucking cigarettes from your parents. I found a joint, so I stole it and we smoked it. Yeah. 
and she paid off her trailer that she stayed in her mom's trailer that she stayed in bought the piece of land next door and put bought and paid for the mobile home that she set there and also two other brand new vehicles that she bought all at one swoop wow right that's and did she give Jordy any of that money do you know no no no, she didn't even give him the house he stays in. She says she told my mom last time, last I heard, because I asked about this specifically because I saw it in one of the videos. I asked my mother, Mom, does Jordy own that trailer that he stays in or is he renting it? And he said, My mother said, quote, Sabrina would never give him that. He has to pay for it. Wow. So, <laughs> whatever that means, you know what it, it means that he's in that trailer and he's paying history of violence not shocked on that pop the trunk on this guy no I'm not that way I'm not a violent person uh, every time you went to see him you know if if I popped in and I was saying hey to everybody I made sure I said hey to him because you know it's fucking polite but every time you say something to the dude he's got some bullshit to say yeah one time he attacked like, me mm -hmm. He attacked yeah, he you. one time he attacked me because I told him I voted for Trump. He said that I was a fucking uh, that I was an elitist and that I supported fucking capitalism over human rights or some shit. And I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck? Well, he really? didn't he host a MAGA party? Yeah, <laughs> and then he fucking uh, <laughs> he pulled a gun on his fucking uh, stepdad. Yep, you see, his mom's remarried. He pulled a fucking gun on his stepdad over over him having a fucking Trump flag on his on his porch. Well, so the way, way he pointed a gun he at somebody. Gun. Well, he said that he pointed I, I recall him mentioning he pulled a gun on his stepfather because he he claimed it was abuse towards his mother. Yeah, right. Right. That I said, I, I'm trying to <laughs> right. Wow. Alright y'all, that's the video. <laughs> that's the video. Um I gotta see where we go from here. You know, but alright y'all, y'all have a good one. Peace out.